Hi friends, thanks for joining me today for more core work. We still get a lot of inquiries as to how can we reduce the belly fat. And I know you don't like a lot of jib jab. So I want you to promise me that you will read the article below that talks about how important not only are the toning exercises, but the diet that you keep and getting your cardio in each week to rev up your metabolism to burn those extra calories. So do these core exercises a couple times a week and others that you can find on our website at www.fitnesswithcindy. And let's get started. We're going to start by warming up the core area. I want you to stand comfortably with feet just hip distance apart. And what I want you to do is just make two fists and I want you to crunch down on one side and crunch down on the other. So you're breathing in and exhaling, breathing in and exhaling, breathing in and exhaling. And as you come down, tighten all those abdominal muscles. Very tight and release. Last one. Good, elbows in, open your hands, want you to soften your knees, and we're going to draw a circle with a little crunch at the bottom. You're gonna feel this in the front and in your back. And crunch. Two more. And one more. We're going to reverse that. Now remember, if any of these hurt your back or your abdominal wall, do it with less intensity and range of motion. And exhale and breathe in and exhale and breathe in. Let's repeat that. We're crunching right, left, breathe in, exhale and crunch and crunch. It's like you're squeezing an orange with your navel. Looking good. Give me two more. Good, again to those circles. Exhale, breathe in and straighten and exhale. Breathe in and straighten, tighten the abs, release, and now the other way. Oh, very well. We're going to turn to the side and I want you to reach up high enough that you feel stretch on the front of those abs. Then I want you to rock back and crunch those abs. So we're elongating those muscles in the front and rounding. And stretch up and lengthen the spine, lengthen the abs and crunch them. One more and crunch them. Face the front and pull up and stretch out everything. Now we'll go to the other side, up and crunch them. Great workout for the front and for the back. And stretch till you feel a nice pull here. And up and down. Again, up and stretch them. Now I want you to reach for your heel behind you. Put the opposite hand right on your obliques. So you reach for your heel and you're feeling those obliques pulling right here. That's what pulls in the front of this stomach. And reach. Good, now chain sides and reach. 
reach far enough that you feel this lengthening. And make sure you're reaching behind you. Good, we're gonna go back to the stretch. Repetitions help work the muscles. And down, grow. Good, open up again. And now the other side, up and down. Feel like you're really working that midsection and back. Good, stretch those all out the abs. Good, and again, reach behind you for your heel. Work in those obliques. That's right, reach. Give me two more. And now the other side, reach. Again, about eight to 10 each side. Good, now we're gonna step a little wider and we're gonna do lunges side to side, but we're gonna take this arm and reach down to our ankle or where you're comfortable and then stretch it overhead feeling this. And then we're gonna reach down, but this time we're gonna add a little reach to behind us with a twist. So we're going down and then stretching it up. Make sure you're lunging here and down and stretch it behind us and crunch that belly stretch out those muscles and now with a twist good let's reverse that reach down and up and down and side twist now you can reach for your knee you can reach for your ankle, side twist, or you can reach for your toe, or you can reach to the floor. Excellent, good. We're gonna come up and we're going to just do a twist and a reach right toward me in front of your nose just to get some of the obliques in there. In, one more, good. Now we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna twist this way and reach. Remember to stay pulled up always, shoulders down. Right, we're gonna repeat that, but first step up and lengthen that spine, pull on those abs, pull one arm down and reach higher, and the other down and reach higher. Once more and reach high, and reach high. We're going back to the down, and lunge this way. But this time on the twist sideways, we're gonna bring this foot in for a little more challenge on balance, and a little more power in that core. And up and down. Bring this foot in and twist sideways. Stay here for the up. Bring that foot in for the sideways. One more. Good, let's reverse all that. Stay with me. Down. And up. Now we're going to drag this foot in as we twist sideways. And down. And up. Stay there as you stretch up and just bend this knee. And now pull this foot in. Up. 
on sideways. Very well. Feet apart. We're going to do that twist and reach. You're aiming to get one hand right in front of your nose and one right behind your head. And you're bending those knees. You're doing great. Good, now let's reverse it to the other side. Good, stretch up. Feel a nice pull. Lengthen the spine, pull on those abs. And up, and pull on those abs. Deep breath. And up. Good. Pull those two ropes back. And there you have it. I would say work on those ab muscles a couple times a week. But please be sure to read the information below because it's not just toning those muscles. As you read, you'll see a lot has to do with your diet and your aerobic activity. So good for you joining me today. And here's to feeling good.